Hey guys and welcome to another installment of Stretch Pilates. My name is Jenna and I'm going to be instructing the beautiful Kelly this morning. So welcome and I hope you have a good sesh. It is a 10 minute workout but you can always make it a little bit harder by doing it two or three times. Kelly go ahead and start with your um, hands down on the mat and four point kneeling. So hands directly underneath your shoulders, knees underneath your hips. I want you to arch your spine up towards the ceiling, rounding your thoracic spine, tuck in your chin, tuck in your tail. And we're gonna take a nice deep inhale into the rib cage, and then exhale to sink your spine. Look forward, stick out your bum, shoulders away from your ears, that's great. And then inhale up, articulating, tucking that tail, getting a nice imprint, belly button through to spine, and then exhale, sink down, look forward, shoulders away from ears, find your neutral, so come back into what you think is a natural curve in your spine, tuck your toes underneath you, and we're going to lift your knees a centimeter off the floor, ready and hold, try and maintain your neutral spine everyone, we want to try to keep those shoulders away from your ears, and we also want to try and get deep neck flexion by pressing your sternum slightly up, almost like a bulldog appearance, now this is hard, are you holding this while I'm describing? It is hard. She is shaking. So keep breathing. Don't hold your breath. And enjoy the difficulty of this for another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. And go into downward dog. Lift bum up. Heels down. Press. Stretch out the hamstrings and the calves. And you want to really push through your hands, shoulders away from your ears. Try and keep that deep neck flexion so the sternum's pressed back in between your shoulder blades. You're trying to fill this area with spine. And then you pop right back to where we started with your knees a centimeter off the floor. Hold. Tummy is tight. Sternum, although it's pressed up, you're not rounding in the middle of your back. You want to drop the middle of your back and keep that pressure in your fingertips. Breathe. Don't let your head stoop. So press your neck up towards the ceiling. Good. Hold. You can even curl, creep those feet slightly forward and bring your knees. Yes, nice. Hold that position. Hold for 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bum goes high, heels go down, shoulders away from ears. Expose your bottom as much as possible and press those heels down into the floor, or at least attempt to do so. Now hold this downward dog position, stretching out those calves, hamstrings, warming up your shoulders. Good, and then you're going to rock yourself forward into a push-up position. So if you need to walk your hands, you may. Great. Holding your push-up, I want you to descend really slowly. So some of us battle in the mid-region to keep the control, but this is a, an attempt to really control yourself down, and that was lovely. Can you turn your head to the right-hand side? Hand under, your left hand underneath your cheek, so put your hand underneath your face, grab hold of your right foot, stretch the front of your right thigh. You want to tuck your tail, squeeze your bum, and get a good stretch on the front of your thigh. So in this session, we're going to have quite a few effective exercises, and in between those really effective exercises, have some nice stretches. Change legs. And relax. We're going to do a few push-ups. So put your hands, palms down, elbows up, sucking in your tummy. You're going to draw belly button in and press yourself up into a prone hold. So push. Yay. And then come down. Inhale slow, 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 slow. So if you need to do it off your knees, you may. If you need to slinky your way back up, you may. But just go slowly so that you can control yourself. Come up again, love. So up you pop. Good, and you can see her hips wanting to dip, but she'd still manage to do it and come down slowly. This is where you improve. You come down, you come down, you come down. And then if you need to slinky your way up, you can. If you do it slowly, you can control. So lift yourself up. Lovely. Hold that position for me for five, four, three, two, one. And you're going to lie down on your back. Good. You're going to bend your knees. 
feet flat down on the mat. I'm going to put a TheraBand across your hips. Hold the TheraBand down with your hands, palms down. So you're anchoring a little bit of resistance. If you do not have a TheraBand, you can do this without one, but you're pushing down that band into the floor. And you're going to curl and tuck your tail. Suck in your tummy and lift your hips up off the floor. Press. So if you need to use your palms rather than your wrists, you can. And then come down slowly, bit by bit by bit. And curl yourself up for me. Press, 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 press. Lovely. And come down slowly, bit by bit. And push up again. Come down. Good, you're really trying to use hamstrings, so a tuck in the tail, a suck in the tum, and a push through the heels. Up, 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 up. And curl yourself down. Last one, lift up. Stay pressed, resisting the band. Float your right leg to tabletop. Good, you're going to violently tap your foot on either side of your left knee. So you tap the foot over the knee and this way and over the knee and right acute, nice and violent and vibey and even more. But your hips are in the air and you're fighting that TheraBand. Good, and then stop, lower your right foot down, left leg comes up and either side, just right next to your knee, tap, tap, tap. Tap, 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 and tap. Float the leg up and lower your left foot down. And Kelly slowly making her way in a circle around the mat. You can come down with your bum and just get in the middle of the mat there. Okay, great. Take your TheraBand, hold it in your hands. You're going to put your feet in the middle of the TheraBand. You're going to hold the band, thumbs to face, pinkies away, palms in, band entering the pinky, exiting the thumb. I hope that makes sense. Come up into a little crunch, so a little C-curve. Suck in your tummy, extend your legs away from you, using your abdominals to imprint your spine. Inhale back with the legs. Exhale away. Good. Inhale back. Now, if you're doing this and your neck is getting tired, you may either put a bunch of pillows to just support you a little bit, or you can rest your head on the floor. Keep going away and in, away and in, away. Last one, away stay. Right leg comes out of the band, knee to face. Take the leg along the mat, bring it back up. Take it over and in. You don't have to go across your body, you're just going right next to it here. So straight, yes, that's perfect. More height in your crunch. Do as many as you can without neck pain. And then back knee to chest and then come put your foot back in the band. Left leg goes out along the floor, good. If you need some rest between, you can take rest between and along. Scooping out your tummy. Lovely, Cal. And two more. And last one. You feel it? Yep. And then put your foot back in. Bend your knees to chest. Lower your head. Well done. Great. Let's get rid of the band. Place it here. We're going to do a nice stretch at the end. I want your hands nice and wide. Good. You're going to suck in your tummy and apply pressure into your hands with your head. You're going to scoop out your tummy muscles and inhale to prepare. Exhale to come into a crunch. Great. Trying not to tuck your tail. I want you to sit up all the way. I know. It's really hard. And if you manage, I'll be surprised. Brilliant. So you're attempting to sit up all the way. You get to this point, you're going to lower your arms to either side of your knees. You're going to not use your face to pull you up. You're going to use your tummy. Curl yourself up. And if you have to, grab your shins and pull yourself up. Good. Arms are behind your head again. Press your head into your hands. Suck in your tummy. Keep your head into your hands and roll down. But by bit, by bit, by bit, by bit, by bit, bit. But keep that head back. Good. We're going to try it again. Suck in tummy. Scoop out. Come up all the way. Cha, 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 cha. <laughs> Good. Hands behind head. Lean back, tuck tail. Roll, roll. Head into hands, head into hands, head into hands. Try two, three, four. See how many you can do. If you can do six, that's great. Relax your legs. Relax your arms. Relax your face. Draw deep breaths into your tummy. 
you're going to turn off your toes, relax your calves, relax your hips, relax your fingertips. Take deep breaths into tummy. Relax your shoulders, your face. Soften your eyes behind your lids. Relax your jaw and your brow. Feel a lightness in your limbs. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Exhale. Take a lovely deep breath in. And as you breathe out, let all tension just go. Mm. 